OVA files, or Open Virtualization Archives, are a convenient way to export virtual machines from any particular brand of virtualization software so that you can import into other brands. So for example, you could export a virtual machine from VirtualBox and then import that virtual machine into VMware and vice versa. Not every hypervisor supports OVAs, but for the ones that do, it's a great way to share virtual machines. To export an OVA from VirtualBox, highlight the virtual machine, click File, Export Appliance. You need to choose which virtual machine to export, then hit Continue. And then you'll choose a location to save that. If you haven't chosen the location before, you can hit the Open Dialog button and choose the folder that you want to save and also choose the name of the OVA file. In this case, I'm just going to keep the name of the virtual machine as it is and add .ova onto the end. For format, you'll generally want to use Open Virtualization Format 1 because not all of the virtual hypervisors support version 2. If you choose version 2, you'll be able to import into VirtualBox OK but you may not necessarily be able to import into VMware. Hit continue, fill out any of the product information that you want, most of which is optional, and when you're done, hit export. This ex export process can take a long time because the biggest file in the virtual machine is typically the hard disk itself. In this case, it's a VMDK file, which is VMware format. When the process is complete, the dialog boxes will disappear and you'll find your file saved at the location that you chose earlier in the process. You can now provide the OVA file to others for them to import into their virtualization hypervisors.